What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Auction Not Included Cesspool. This is the pack we started after Citadel crashed on us, unfortunately. But we'll just keep trudging on. So, uh, last episode looks like we got our base pretty well established. We finished all the research, even though that cost us a lot of water. We're going to need to fix that. But we did get plenty of beds set up. We got, what is that, total of 25 duplicates. And I really like the way that's oriented all right next to each other. No, it's 20, not 20. Five. Um, we did get some bristleberry started. I don't know how to uh, get a long-term solution that's going to be. We don't have a lot of duplicates, so food shouldn't have to worry too much. As long as we start digging, we can find some muck root, nutrient bars, and other stuff. So we're probably going to get started on that in this episode. But uh, now that we have some research accomplished, I want to start upgrading a couple of things. Number one, our storage. So I have... I discovered a uh, screenshot mode, by the way. If you hit Alt and S... Let me zoom back in. If you hit Alt and S, it'll put you in screenshot mode, and you can zoom way further out. That's going to be really useful for seeing things around the base. Like, now I can see everything, like, really quickly, which is going to be really useful. So I'll just scroll back in. Okay, um... So, first thing we want to do is fix storage. And the way I want to do this is these automatic dispensers. You've seen me use them a couple times in some previous videos. And we're going to put one right here, and we're going to put one right here. Um, actually, it wouldn't hurt to have one here and here, just for symmetry's sake, and to give them more places to drop stuff off. These do not require power, so we are not going to power them. I do want to fix our power situation at some point. Um... Where, hmm, in order to do that, we'd probably need to move the critter farm, but there's not a lot of space to move things. If we destroy these uh, storages down here, I could probably move this level down and create something. I don't know what I'd put down in here. Um, actually, that's not a terrible idea. If we were to clear these out, I could fill this room up with batteries, and then I could put the uh, power wheels down here, and then we can run it to everything and put transformers up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, I paused it because I thought it was going to take them longer than that, but it did. So, we are going to copy the settings for these. Just like that. But we're going to send them to sweep only. Oh, they already were sweeping. Oh, I didn't realize I had these all set to sweep. Oh, cool. Alright, now we're going to have them destroy all these bad boys. Okay. Let's do a sweep command. Clean all that shit up. Oh, I forgot we light up the base pretty well, too. That's nice. I hope that light's not going to keep going. Um, where's the light here? Alright, light over there, right there. Okay, no, the light. Ooh. Okay, no, it stops before they're bed. We're good. We'll see once this person goes to bed. Yeah, he's fine. Cool. Okay, it looks like we got a printing pod request. I can click on it. Um, I don't want another duplicate yet. We need food. Let's go with some omelets. Those are pretty good quality food. Okay, we're going to have them move all this crap, destroy all these tiles. And we're going to build another platform here and extend the door down. And we will put a power gen a power generation room. We'll probably use manual generators so I can just have them generate it every morning and then go on with the day. I need to start splitting them up into priorities the more duplicates we get. We did get a little bit more food from the bristle berries and some stuff, so we're doing okay. That building. Pause for a second. I don't want them moving too fast. Don't need too much idle time, so we'll set a door up right there. There we go. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. Just ate food. Okay, get that room all set up. 
Let's get those generators going in here. Uh, over here. That should do it. But we're going to need some strong wire. Okay, we got a lot of copper. So that's not going to be able to go through the door. Yep. Conductor. You can drop this door. I probably don't. We're gonna need so let's lay down the jumbo batteries first uh, from the back. Ooh, that's one, one too many. Okay, let's copy that wire over. I used a lot of copper. Okay, I want them to deconstruct all the other wires from. Uh, her. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, one second. All right, guys. I think I got it figured out here how we're gonna do it. Um, so the way I have it set up here is I'm gonna run uh both heavy duty cables up both sides. I'm gonna run it over here to this guy transformer. He's gonna break off, power up all these things right here, all these lights. So like that, deconstructing this, I'm going to be deconstructing all those. They're not necessary anymore. And I got another one going up here. Yes, accidentally it's going to be... Oh, actually, that's not good. No, I don't know why I'm more than thinking that I ain't going to hurt any. Um, and then over here, we got this one uh, hooked up to these lights the grooming room we got this one hooked up to the, these lights as well as the grill and all this stuff right here um but yeah that'll fix our power problem we can run it all through the same thing and just keep a bunch of batteries charged uh, and if we're, worst case scenario i can set up another row of batteries underneath here which i may end up doing maybe two rows i don't know but let's go ahead and unpause and let them go zooming feature now oh, and it'll hide all the icons so you can see how they're doing on the builds it's a lot of copper though i can tell you that hold on oh that's because the lights are on got it come on guys a little bit faster deconstruct these machines and I already deconstructed the ones up here so yeah uh, okay focus on the batteries That way, focusing on the batteries is more important than charging them. Really? Alright. Now you're doing the thing you should be doing. Jeez. Manual generators are not my favorite, but if the duplicates have to stop and charge the batteries once a day, that's not that big a deal. When we get a big enough set of batteries, we may, not, may only have to do it like less than that. We'll take the personal berries. More food, keep that calorie count up. All right, and now everything is charged in the base off those batteries and those uh, manual generators. I think I real reworked this because I'm not a big fan of all that open space. But the base is lit up and going good. The plants are getting water properly. Um, those are powered, aren't they? Yeah. Why aren't I storing food in that? You can copy this. Can I copy to these? No, I cannot. That's fine. Go ahead and deconstruct this guy. And then up here, all edible and cooking ingredients. At a priority of nine, copy that to this guy. 
pretty sure I said to deconstruct this thing, did I not? Oh, I guess I'll just move ahead. There it goes. Random weird tile there. And there. Sweep up all of that stuff, aside from the critter eggs. Uh, no loose materials in there, which is bueno. for a minute. They moved all the food into a restored refrigerated unit, so that way that food will last longer. Our food count went up. I think that was that from the things? No, I don't think so. I want to see how long these batteries last. They seem to be lasting a while. Okay, so I planned a few things here. So first of all, we're setting up a gas chamber room up here. We're going to pump all the oxygen out of this room, and this room is going to be for containing any gas that is not oxygen. I don't want it just collecting in the base, and odds are it's mostly polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide and maybe hydrogen at some point. Don't know. But this is going to store all those gases. I've learned that a storage unit like this is way better than one of these uh, for a lot of reasons because it can store more per tile than these can. So it's better to just store it like this anyway, because you'll be able to hold loads of oxygen in here. Um, now with a normal gas vent, it doesn't, it's not going to be able to hold a lot because it'll overpressure really easy. But once we get to the high pressure gas vent, this will be the way to store gases for sure. Um, we're going to try to get the plastics a lot quicker than I have in the past. Plastic is not easy. Uh, the easiest way to get to them would be through Drecos, uh, which is something I'm going to want to do. Uh, should be able to find them in biomes like this with the hydrogen and chlorine biomes. Um, at least usually. They like the, the yeah, that guy, this guy right here. If you feed them mealwood in a room that has hydrogen on the top and uh, carbon dioxide on the bottom, they can have a chance to have special uh, eggs, kind of like the stone hatchlings. Okay, those are normal hatches. I was like, wait, did I already have stone, uh, stone hatchlings? But no, I don't. Okay, but yes, that's going to be another creature I want to farm at some point. i got to regulate the temperature in there, too. Um, but for now, we're setting up these masks right here. So we can start exploring and digging out different areas and stuff like that. So we're going to use the normal masks. Uh, now, these are good for breathing in chlorine, underwater, in space, stuff like that. That's This is good for those, but they will not regulate temperature. So on a cold biome, they can uh, ha get hypothermia, and a hot biome, they can get scalding and uh, just, you know, pass out and have a heat stroke. Um, so what I'm building is I'm building this out of insulated tile right here as a base, just in case it's a hot or cold biome out there. And over here, I'm setting up a gas pump hooked up to a gas filter. It's going to push oxygen in here that's going to feed these guys. And then uh, I have a, with the filter, once the oxygen is... If I find something other than oxygen, this will send it over into this channel where I'm going to put a vent right here. Um, like once I turn this one on, I'm going to disable it. I did go ahead and put an output for it, but just in case. Um, actually, you know what? Screw the output. We don't need that. So this one will just be turned off for a little while while we wait for uh, this room to gas out because I'm going to take these pumps on both sides and pump it out. Uh, I also put insulated tiles down here so the temperature of the gases do not affect the base. Um, anyway, and, oh, and I hooked up another transformer right here. We're going to go ahead and let them build all this. Alright, so the pumps are going. They got everything hooked up, and I'm going to get them cleaning up a bunch of stuff here. So, need all the these oh, crap. Okay. Go ahead and sweep out their room while they're at it. Sweep over here. Make sure there's nothing in the bathroom. Make sure nothing in here. Sweep down there. Oh, wait. Cancel that. No. That up. Let's get a couple of ladders down here. And they can do a sweep command on everything in here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, let them go. When you know it, as soon as I paused. Okay. 
Do I want to take out another, another duplicate? Hmm. Take this guy. Okay, so while this is still pumping out gases, I notice this thing is full, so I'm going to go ahead and run the pipes over here and connect it up to this guy. So that way, once we have the oxygen masks, we can just get them pumping. Uh, another thing I'm working on is I'm making the crafting station so we can make masks. Okay, so they got the pipes built, and we got this thing made. So we're going to start queuing up some masks. It takes 50 kilograms to make one mask. That's not that much. It would be best if we had... Just enough mask. One, two, three, eight. So let's make eight of them. Actually, maybe we should make them out of iron. Ooh, we don't have a lot. Eight times 50, that is 400 kilograms? Yeah, we can do it. Because it has a higher uh, heat resistance. Yeah, overheat temperature is 167, so it won't overheat. I mean, granted, duplicates are going to live 167 anyway, but still better. <coughs> let's turn the priority up on that. And let's go ahead and queue up the mask delivery. Nope, deliver. 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 Okay. So now we want to set up a room for them to actually get out of. So we're going to set it up right... Yeah. Okay. So that way if we let any gases in, it ain't going to affect the face. <clears throat> in fact, let's go ahead and put some more insulated tiles and just kind of narrow out this path. So that way the only entrance is right here. Um, I would like to gap off this as well at some point. We'll wait until we're, we're up here digging. Okay. Let's go ahead and get them building that. Oh, it looks like they've got all the masks done. Oh, they're charging the batteries. Got it. And I changed these to 10%, so that way they will only come over here and charge it once these batteries are damn near dead. I might turn it to a little bit higher, just so that way, because it looks like they're not going to finish and they'll probably just... It'll probably drain down if you want to use most of it. <clears throat> oh, there's a vacuum. Awesome. Didn't even see it. Okay, break that. Break that. And that. And that. Okay, let's look at the insulated pipe and do some de constructing. Boop. And boop. Okay, looks like the wire do some decent constructing. We don't need all these loose wires around. Clean this place up. It's a mesh. There we go. Don't need all that. And finally, let's put a gas vent on this bad boy right there. Go for it. Looks like they haven't picked up anything though. I'll give him something to do. Okay. Oh, looks like they got all the masks delivered. Those will start charging up and getting ready to go. And then we can start our excavation. So what I want them to do I want them to build some insulated tiles as they're going along here. I want this to be the highest priority. So it means they'll build the tiles before they do anything else. Then, <clears throat> outside of that, I want them... Oh, I just noticed something. Um, change my mind. I want those to be a priority of 9. Then I want regular tiles at a priority of 8. Right through here. Shoot. Okay, cancel these two tiles and these two tiles for now, because I don't want them digging those out if we prevented any damage. So, 
Um, let's also put, now that I'm thinking about it, another door right here. And two insulated tiles above it. There we go. That should be okay. Um, yeah, let's let them do that real quick. Okay. Yeah, I didn't let it go in. Good. Now this room is trapped. No gases can get in or out. So, we're going to start a dig command. Harvest up all these plants and get out of here. Because they're probably not going to survive once I'm done doing what I'm about to do. Okay. Okay, let them harvest all the plants. Cool. Swap a guy here and here. Okay. Let's do a dig command. Her, her, and her. Her. Here. For a second, I thought he was wearing his mask still. I was about to say, what the hell? Okay, we can slot down some more insulated tiles here and here. Uh, that one can go there. <coughs> Anyone else gonna come up here and help you, bro? Oh, they're charging the batteries. Got it. But he's the only one doing actual work while they're charging up the batteries. <clears throat> We're definitely going to want to move past this before too long because I don't want to switch to coal power because we do not have a lot of coal. At least not yet. Okay. Are they going to come work on it now? Yes, they are. Good. So I'm going to zoom in here. Hit a dig command here and here. Tiles, put command here and here, and set up a new tile here. Okay, and now they can dig here and deconstruct all of these. And now we've prevented all that chlorine from getting into the base. Alright, so set this to a low priority because we're going to set up a big command here. Alright, starting off, we're going to go straight up. set up because we're going to call this actually we're not going to do this as the center spine we're actually going to set up the center spine way over here somewhere um but for now we will do a straight up line and every four tiles one two three right here Okay, so I planned a few things out here. So first off, uh, I've got them building a border around the base out of insulated tiles. So that way we can monitor the temperature of our base without having to worry too much. This way we can also straighten out the base and move some things around. Uh, that'll help establish the main baseline for now. And then once that is done, which they're not going to prioritize that build anyway, they're just going to do it whenever possible. But when they're not working on that, however, they're going to be tunneling up here, focusing on going over here and digging out a little pool for this. They have masks now, so I'm not too worried about them <coughs> drowning. So, uh, once they have that built and got that tank filled up, I can actually get up here and finish this little part right here without having to worry too much because the water won't flow out anymore. And I've also got a pump set up to drop all this water into our main water storage, so that way we can collect that water and get us a nice little uh, collection of water going. Um, outside of that, we need to plan a dig command. So we're going to set this to a priority of one. So here. Oh, hold on. Start from about right here. And work our way over to about right. Um, we will go ahead and prioritize that dig command, though. And then if we... Oh, sorry. Dig. Priority one. 
No. I want them to dig all the way down here. Well, they're out there because I want to make sure they have this finished before they try to proceed. Also cleaning up this a little bit here. Because we can finally expand the base properly. Alright, I'm going to let them go at this for a bit. Okay, so I noticed that the chlorine, they're actually still taking some negative effects from. They're getting ear eye irritations. I guess the masks don't cover their eyes, so that's a problem. Um, <clears throat> the problem with that is uh, these things do cause problems with duplicates. I imagine an eye irritation probably won't cause life or death situations, but it'll still cause enough problems that we want to deal with that as early as possible. Um... Okay, anyway, um, if I click on one of the duplicates and look at germs, okay, zombie spores, jeez, I've never seen zombie spores before, but I've heard they're really bad. Um, so the plan here is I'm going to pump the uh, chlorine into one of these rooms. I'm setting up a second tank right here that I can use for that. Um, so I'm just going to let them build. Oh my god. You guys are so dumb. They're slowly getting it done. Okay, they got the pump all set up and they're starting to do a lot of dig. Damn, they're fast. They found some hydrogen there too. Still some gas in there, I saw it. Unless it all just disappeared. I don't have any kind of overlay. Wait, is there an overlay? Um, oxygen, no. Exit room, farming, germ, decor, plumbing, light materials, temperature, power. No, there isn't a gas overlay, there's just an oxygen one. I guess I can check all the tiles real quick. Nothing there. I guess it I guess it's a vacuum. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's deconstruct. Let's start with the pipes. Let's deconstruct this whole thing here. Okay. Deconstruct this guy, deconstruct this guy, and let's deconstruct some wires that I don't need. No point in having wires set up that we're not using, and that should do it. I'll have them clean up the room. Oh, they also need to hook up a vent right there. Come on. I seriously have everybody on the first shift. I really need to get a second shift. Mm, incredible, man. Okay, now this room's gonna start filling up with uh, whatever gases we pull out of this room. Alright. Uh, clean up some stuff. Alright, let's see what we got in the printing pod. We are getting quite a bit of food. Maybe it's a good time to bring in another duplicate. Um, ooh, that one's got better. Yeah, let's go with that. Ooh, they laid their first stone, first stone hatch on here. It's awesome. How's everything in here going? Those are all such a low priority, so they're probably not focusing on it. Low priority. Alright, we need to set up some more dig commands. I know this is all being evacuated properly. Alright. Start digging over this way. Set a downloader right here. And then...
Upward ladder, right Raptor. I'm also going to put a deconstruct command right there. And let's set up some deke stuff here. Okay. Extend that ladder all the way over there. I'm going to put that ladder up there. Okay. And let's do a dig command on this. Probably drop most of that polluted water down in this area, assuming they finish building all this shit. Ooh. Let's actually cancel right through here. Actually, better yet, what we'll do since all that sets a priority of one. And, oh, oh wait. yeah, that's fine. Priority of nine here and here. We'll prioritize that. Now we need to reprioritize all that digging command we did. To work on. Ooh, they, they managed to spread out the blossom seeds. Okay, and another dig command. Wait for somebody to finish that last build. Awesome. There, now I don't have to worry about any polluted oxygen getting in here. Okay. Look at that. Filling that room with carbon dioxide, uh, with chlorine. We need to set up a gas storage as well, though. <laughs> set up a gas, a gas line bridge here and connect it there um, let's actually set up two of those gas storages It'll take a lot of copper but Chlorine's gonna start storing in here. I need to get a mod to look at the gas overlays. Oops, looks like carbon dioxide is mostly the primary gas in here so far. Not a lot, but some. What's going on with these pipes? Hmm. Not sure.
Eh, it's not that big a deal. We got most of the chlorine pumped out of here now, so they won't have as much eye irritation going on. That polluted oxygen is starting to escape fine. That's not going to be too much of an issue. They are finally working on it, working on all this stuff. And let's see what we got in the duplicates. We just mined out a biome that's usually full of coal. Sweetness! We got a lot of chlorine stored up though. We can use that for something. I need to set up a whole uh, network of these gas chambers though. I may set that up out here in the wild once we get a little bit further out. Better push it all over one. Not really sure which yet. I think we might shrink down this polluted water tank just because I don't plan on it filling up that much. But in order to expand it without releasing all that gas, I have to make this a two tile wide thing and then break this open. Whoa, 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 what? Why is there a lot of polluted water just spreading all over my base? Where is this coming from? Oh my god, it's from there. Ugh. Is this germ-free? Okay, yeah it is. Okay, Phew. Good, I was going to be very upset if it wasn't. Make a way down to that. That. Oh no. I'm gonna have to pump that out somehow. Probably some up here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to move this guy over a couple spaces at a priority of 9. Also, we're going to move the ladder over, uh, make a temporary path right over here. I need to prioritize that water cleanup. It's kind of important, guys. Charging the batteries. Really? That's what you're worried about right now? Oh, I almost forgot about this. Uh, actually, let's wait on that till they clean up the car. I do plan on extending this all the way up. But we can change that to a priority of one. Not necessary to deal with right now. is a necessity. And 
And let's do a high priority cleanup too, because I don't want all the blue water just sitting around. Hurry up and charge the batteries. Okay, I got all that polluted water cleaned up, and I got a lot of the base straightened up too. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen floating around, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. I'm working on moving this over, and I'm going to deconstruct a good chunk of this. So first I'm going to start off with the doors, start from here, over. Okay. Line up all that iron for some fucking reason. Okay, now deconstruct all this. I was going to deconstruct that ladder too. Okay, we're going to take this guy right all the way up here and then do the whole. Actually, do instead cancel that. Bring it down right here, then do the every other. There we go. That'll suit the needs. Now all that water will spread out in here and give us more room for water. Then once they finish having this ladders built, they can rehab access to this. That set setup makes a lot more sense to me. I'm having problems with the battery, so I actually exchanged these ins the regular tiles with insulated ones on these floors. The temperature was getting a bit rough. I'm gonna figure out a way to cool it down, but till that point, we're gonna have a few plants not wanting to grow. Um, I think we're going to ahead and wrap up the video here, though. I think we made pretty good progress. We're expanding out, getting out into other parts of the base. Now we just have polluted oxygen to deal with, so our eyes won't be so irritated, which will be good. Go ahead and get a few more ladders going here. But the goal is to start expanding out in the base and start clearing out a bunch of this. And then once they get it all down, all the polluted water down into one like pool, I'm gonna set up a I'm gonna set up a filtration system to filter it back into the base. Problem is I don't really have a good water storage for it yet, so we'll have to figure that one out. I'll probably end up expanding the bottom layer of the base just so that way I can accomplish that. Uh, and that is something I thought about. I always hated establishing the baseline because I was always worried that baseline would change. And I remembered, wait, why don't I just do like I did with the water there, just build a bunch of tiles next to it and just keep doing that over and over and just delete the tiles I don't need anymore and that'll prevent any gas or liquids from passing in. So I've been overcomplicating it really hardcore. This I ne eventually need to cap off because I have no use for that much chlorine. Um... There's like five kilograms per tile in here, which is quite a bit of chlorine. That I assume is why this isn't venting anymore. But I don't need that much. Like what I got here, more than enough. Um, I mean, if I need access to chlorine, that'd be cool. But till that point, I really don't have any use for it. I don't see any new geysers out here yet, though. around to see if I can find a few uh, not from what I can tell though so far that's the only geyser I see is that chlorine geyser we haven't found any others have we oh hey there's one right here let's see what that is real quick priority of nine. Oh, not priority nine Pri major priority it is a height hydrogen um that's not terrible. That's a renewable source of energy. Um, I could be down with that. Set it up. We need to set up some gold hydrogen generators. Or hopefully, um, we need to analyze it to really know all the facts, though. So, next episode, there's probably going to be something we're focused on. But we find a hydrogen generator and a chlorine vent. So. Not a big fan of chlorine, but the hydrogen I'll definitely use at some point. I'll utilize it in the base as a source of power to charge the base. 
we'll see how many hydrogen generators we can run off of that alone. Um, if I build it out of steel and, put, and insulate it all, we shouldn't have to worry too much about heat. Uh, it really depends on how hot the hydrogen comes out at. I imagine it's not super hot. I still say it's in the lower, uh, like 200s. This vents out at 140 degrees, so I imagine the thing up, thing, thing up there will too. And if I make uh, the hydrogen generator out of gold, that shouldn't be an issue, but it could heat up alone on its own even more, so that might be a problem. So we might want to make it out of steel. Steel would be able to withhold, withstand the heat. At least I hope so. Um, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up. We made some progress. We're finally starting to expand outside of the base. We really desperately need to get to Atmos suits. Um, what are we lacking to get that? Huh, that's interesting. Um, we need a specific plant. I don't see in here anyway. Uh, thimble reeds. We have three thimble reed seeds. We could actually start growing them. We will need a lot more metal though, but it's a good thing we're out branching out and digging, so that's not going to be too much of an issue. I plan on processing every bit of iron I get, but I want to get a refinery going first. Something I've learned though is we should t uh, take a body of water. In fact, that gives me an idea. I need to take some of the polluted water I collect from all this and store it in a pretty good sized tank that I'm going to use for uh, cooling and I'm going to use it to cool the uh, uh, refinery. I might set it up over here in the corner of the base away from most of the other stuff. I need to insulate it pretty well. Uh, then again I might set it up right outside of the base. Uh, but I need to make sure I'm using Atmos suits when I'm using it so I may set it up like over here somewhere. There's a couple of bodies of blue water right here. If, I play, if I'm very careful, I can build a tank, store it in it, and then uh, use that. And later on, I can cool it down somehow. Um, okay. Alright, that's the game plan. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell down below to let you know when I upload videos to YouTube. Uh, also, be sure to leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to see in the future or if you're just enjoying the videos. I'd like to hear from you guys. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for me. So I'll see all of your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye, guys.